بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم ایز یو نو وی ور اسٹارٹنگ دا ڈیزائن رولس اینڈ ان دا لاسٹ کلاس وی ٹاکڈ اباؤٹ دا شنائڈر مینس ایٹ گولڈن رولس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو اسٹڈی دا نارمل سیون پرنسپل سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ان فیکٹ دا دیز نارمل سیون پرنسپلس are said to be the principles to make a complex complex task into a simpler task so the first principle says use both knowledge in the world and knowledge in the head normally in fact when we, whenever we are going to do some uh, some something with our software in fact we need to have some knowledge about it so sometime that knowledge is Uh, already in our mind in our brain and sometimes those are explicitly informed with the help of that software the interface or the controls so now look at this people work better when the knowledge they need to do a task is available externally so it is in their mind but it is better if it is available externally either explicitly or through the constraints imposed by the environment for example if i have to enter some value and i know that what value i'll have to enter but it must also be implemented through validation checks that what i can enter and what i cannot so that i will get that constraint imposed by that software and i will not be able to something that that is not required or that is wrong so this is important so we must try to provide the external information what we can do how we can do and we can also impose the constraint and it is not only for the new user it is also for the expert users experts also need to be able to internalize regular tasks to increase their efficiency that means the experts they also try to find out how to do a thing and they try to in fact adopt that sequence and the adopt the all those steps to increase their efficiency so this is important that we use whatever we know and whatever is imposed with the help of that particular software in terms of controls in terms of constraints those have been provided to us number 2 simplify the structure of task that means if there is a task that is complex we must divide it into different steps into different parts so that we must be able to understand every or each of those so now sorry tasks need to be simple in order to avoid complex problem solving and excessive memory load for example break down in a, a task for example if i have a complex task i will break down into simple structure maybe i will automate it that is it will do, for example if i am installing something if there is some installation process so my install installer must automatically copy and then install and then do everything for me so it will make that complex task little bit easier for me and sometime if we cannot implement the whole process automatic we cannot convert it automatic or automate it we can make part of it automate automatic and part of it manually so that again the task becomes simpler and we can implement or we can perform that task make things visible that means bridge the gulf of execution and evaluation we have studied in norman's model that there is the gulf of execution and gulf of evaluation so it says that you must show on the user interface that what a user can do so if the interface should make clear what the system can do and how this is achieved so if i am i want to execute something and if i can see the options available i can relate them so that gulf will be bridged there is i can see okay this button will do this and this button will do this and this button will do this this will drop down the combo so now i can understand how can i execute so it will decrease the gulf of execution and then and should enable the user to see clearly the effect of their actions on the system let me once i have executed now i want to evaluate 
the results must be shown on the system very clearly so that I must assess that what I wanted to do has it been done has it been done uh, the, the process is complete the comp process is complete as I required so this is something that we must show what we can do to, uh, to, to, to bridge the gulf of execution and the results to, to bridge the gulf of evaluation number four get the mappings right normally whenever a user is interacting with the system the controls tell him what he can do with the system combo can be dropped button can be pressed so things must be mapped accordingly wherever you need to use the radio button do not use a checkbox wherever you want to use a checkbox do not use a radio button so map the controls right so user intention should map clearly onto system controls user action should map clearly onto system events what event will do what when I, I will click it will do this when I will right click it will do this so the things must be mapped right and the next one is so it should be clear what does what and by how much so again there is another concept in it there is if I am using a status bar it must be mapped accordingly sometime it happens that I am copying a file and my status bar is showing from me 0 to 100 then it goes to 0 then 200 then to 0 then 200 so it is just moving it is not telling me how much files how many files or how much of a file has been copied so I can never get an idea that the uh, half of the file is copied three-fourth of the file is copied so I never get the idea because it is not the mapped in a right manner so if you are showing me a status bar show me a status bar that shows me approximately or closer to that particular status that one-fourth of the file is copied three-fourth of the file is copied so it must show me that much status similarly sometime it shows me the time and time is wrong it is telling me okay 30 seconds needed and it is just copying copying and copying for five, five minutes so in fact it must be mapped accordingly so now I read control styler uh, sliders and dials should reflect the task so uh, and another another thing if I have a button and I just move it to lower down the voice or raise the voice it says the control in fact should tell us how much I move my hand and how much uh, voice will be raised or it will be decreased so now read out controls sliders and dials should reflect the task so a small movement has a small effect and a large movement has a large effect so this is get the mappings right so everything you are applying on your screen it must be according to the real meaning of it five exploit the power of constraints both natural and artificial normally if I if a user tries to insert data he can enter the wrong data so what we do we provide only the options constraints we just constrain the control with the options that are applicable that are allowed so in this manner a user can add only those values that can respond in that manner that is required so it says provide the options that are valid only do not provide any option that can be entered and that can be wrong so we can exploit the power of constraints whatever constraints can be applied do apply those so that user can interact in a better and productive manner number six design for error as we know that humans make error they can uh, perform anything while performing anything they can make mistakes they can make slips so anticipate the errors the user could make so what we are do going to do we are thinking in advance that what my user can do what error he can make one what mistake he can make so what will we do we will design accordingly first of all we will try to prevent him from the errors and even then if some error occurs we will make a mechanism to recover the system 
so that the system must must not get crashed so it is designed for error there is to manage the errors first of all do not let them uh, appear do not let them come but if they appear then you must have a mechanism to recover from that state and then the number seven when all else fails standardize normally when we have nothing to understand then we standardize in fact when a product is as per standard it will be easily understandable for everybody file means a menu that contains all the options related to the file like new open close save save as edit mean that contains cut copy paste basic most options view contains so when we are going to develop a software we will try to move towards the standardization if we have nothing in our mind to do how to do it then we will standardize it so it says if we take i give you the example of file edit menus right buttons login log out so those must be standardized so that a user who has used some other application he must feel ease while using your application because at least it is as per standards and it gives us another concept of a control of a car it says if there is a car the basic controls the accelerator the brake the clutch the gear everything if it is not automatic right so those will be same so if a user who has used the car and he, he, he enters into another car with the manual uh, sort of things he will be able to drive the car yes there will be issues with the lights with the dimmer dippers with the horn with any other thing ac or some but at least he will be able to use the basics there is to run a car to drive a car he will be able to do that so same is the case with the software when we have nothing in our mind and we do not feel what to implement we standardize the things everything the login log out uh, forgot password everything will be standardized so that any user can understand our software easily so that is all about the norman seven principle try to understand these from the book as well get the examples thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi